Let's get a look at a first alert forecast now. I know, Lonnie, you've been look, tracking some storms here tonight. Yeah, and, and they're kind of, they look, they're kind of waning as we speak. But, you know, everything you just heard those scientists talk about, hey, look, it's all credible. It, that's all true. But remember, they're saying as the climate heats up, right, heat creates lift. That creates the big rainstorms. So you would think this summer, with all the heat we've had, we'd have all kinds of rain. It's an anomaly. Not every year performs like that. And we've been incredibly dry, even though it has been so sweltering hot this year. I mean, as a matter of fact, look, you got some light rain out there right now at 73, but you hit 89 degrees today. Not quite a 90 degree day. You were 90 in Newark. Newark, you are pushing nearly, nearly, you know, 50 days for this year so far of 90 degree heat or more. So there's been a lot of heat in our atmosphere. A lot of times that translates to a lot of storms, a lot of activity. We haven't had too much activity, but we do have some out there right now. I also want to talk about something else that happened today. This was at 514 in the afternoon. The National Geologic Center has reported, sure enough, an earthquake in New Jersey. Some of you may have felt that it's low grade. It was a magnitude 2.3, approximately three miles deep into the earth. Where was it located? One kilometer officially west-southwest of White Meadow Lake in New Jersey. So this is the Ramapo fault line, much like the San Andreas fault line out west. That's a much bigger, more active fault line. This very old fault line, again, a relatively low minor earthquake did take place, but if you felt it, uh, or if you have your at-home uh, seismology kit, uh, maybe you registered it. Here's what we're seeing outside as of right now. Light rain depicted by the blue color. That's not a problem. Yeah, northern Putnam County, now into Dutchess, a little bit in Fairfield, basically into uh, Litchfield County right now. You can move in tight and you'll see wherever the yellows are, or the oranges, little flash of some heavier rain out there. Right on top of 84 around Waterbury, just pushed through uh, Woodbury, Connecticut. All right, it's fading away. It's pushing off to these, all part of this front, which is exiting the area. High pressure is going to fill in. You're going to get a great looking day tomorrow. 87, so it's hot, but it's less humid out there. I mean, today you had dew points around the lower 70s. By the time you get to tomorrow afternoon, dew points are almost in the 40s. A 53 dew point for New York City. That's about as dry as you're going to get on the last day of August. So 87 for your day on Wednesday, 83 as you kick off September, 81 Friday, 84 Saturday. September really starts beautifully around here. Sunday, you're 88. We are putting in a PM chance for rain on Sunday. Could be a rain chance as well on your Labor Day. These are not washout events, but even some of that rain lingers into Tuesday. Just not quite as nice of a run we're going to get for that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That looks really good, good guys. Enjoy the weather. It's coming up, but it's all yours right now. All right. Thank you, Lonnie.